Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're back here today. Today, instead of starting with a story, we're gonna end with a story and we're gonna start today with one of the um, Scholastic My Big Worlds. Sometimes you see these in school, but we're gonna look at one today. And this is called My Big World with Clifford. What should he wear? It's raining, it's pouring. Is this boy dressed for rainy weather? What do you think? Hmm, I don't know. Lately, it's been very strange around here. It's, we haven't had a lot of sun and it's been raining and then cloudy and then really, really hot and then really, really cold. It's been very interesting. I'm really looking forward to some sunny days. But let's see if we can help these kids figure out what to wear. So this says, dress for spring weather. Circle what you would wear in the weather. And I know you can't circle it from where you are, but we can try and do this together. So let's fold this back so you can see. And we're gonna look at the first picture. This girl, look at her. She's wearing a raincoat, right? A yellow raincoat. And she has an umbrella. So what would she wear? Is she wearing? the right thing let's see for rainy weather she would wear let's see a raincoat okay she might wear what else what else might she wear very good rain boots would she wear ice skates would you wear ice skates in rainy weather no no to the ice skates all right, let's look at the next picture. Look at these kids. What would you wear in hot, sunny weather? Hot, sunny weather. Could you wear a baseball cap? I think so. I think that's a good thing to do to cover your eyes, yeah? And your face from the sun, that's a good idea. Um, would you wear a t-shirt maybe? Yeah, I think a t-shirt is a good thing to wear in in hot weather t-shirt good what about a heavy winter parka would you wear a heavy winter parka parka in hot sunny weather no you would be too hot too hot okay let's look at this one this little girl has a pinwheel that's called a pinwheel and when you take that out into the wind it blows all around. What would you wear in cool, windy weather? Cool and windy. Hmm. Would you wear flip-flops in cool, windy weather? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. It depends how cool. If it was maybe 70 degrees, you might wear flip-flops. So maybe, maybe. So we'll just underline it as a maybe. Um, cool, windy. Would you wear a sweater? What do you think? Definitely sweater, definitely. Cool and windy. Well, if it was cool, like 30 degrees, you might wear these. What's that, snow boots? But it doesn't look like it's that cool. It looks like it's more of a spring day. So would you wear snow boots on a spring day? No. All right, last one. Look at this. We haven't had much of this in a while. What do you think this is? It is a cold, snowy day. On a cold, snowy day, would you wear a small little tank top with no sleeves? Would that keep you warm on a cold, snowy day? No. Would you wear a snowsuit? Would you wear a snowsuit on a snowy day? I think that's would be a great idea. And how about this? What are these? Mittens. Would you wear mittens on a cold snowy day? I hope so. Because they need to keep your hands nice and warm. That's right. Perfect. You did a great, great job. Really great job. And I don't know what it's like out today where you are. It's probably the same as where I am at home. And when I look outside, it's kind of, kind 
kind of cloudy. It's a little cloudy and I haven't been out today, but I, I think it's, it's probably a little chilly, maybe a little windy out, but I see birds out my window. So that probably means spring is, I mean, spring is here, but I think, um, I think it's gonna warm up soon. I really, really hope so. The trees are, are blooming, beautiful flowers. So I think we're gonna be wearing t-shirts and flip-flops and sweaters very, very soon. I think we're gonna be able to get rid of all our cold, cold winter clothes soon, if you haven't already. Now this book is called, It's the First Day of School with Charlie Brown. Now I know it is nowhere near the first day of our school, but I still think this is a fun book to read. So let's give it a read, okay? Four weeks and counting. School starts in four weeks. Details at 11. Three weeks and counting. School starts in three weeks. I have my clothes all laid out. I even have my lunch made. Okay, now do you think he made his lunch a little early? I don't think he, I think he should make it the day before, maybe two days before, but not three weeks before. Now I'm going out to stand by the bus stop. What are you going to do out there? Cry. So Charlie Brown's very excited to go to school and his friend's not so excited to go to school. I hope you are always excited to go to school. Two weeks and counting. Yes, sir. We'd like to buy some school supplies. Things like paper and pencils. Huh? And lots of erasers. One week and counting. Hey, big brother, wake up. What should I do next week if the teacher asks me something and I don't know the answer? Just tell her you don't know. Can I use your name? The day before. School starts tomorrow. Good grief. Get all your school clothes ready. Well, Charlie Brown looks pretty ready to me. He's been ready for weeks. Eat a good breakfast, school starts tomorrow. So do you think she's getting more excited now? I think maybe, I think she's getting very excited about school. Get those books ready, sharpen those pencils. I think she's yelling so loud, Charlie Brown's falling on his head. His crayons are flying all over the place. What are you doing back in bed? School starts tomorrow. Who cares? The big day. Sorry, Snoopy, you can't go with us. Aw, Snoopy can't go to school. Hmm, maybe there's a puppy or dog school someplace he can go. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof! Snoop Snoopy is not happy about that. For show and tell, I have brought this leaf. This is an authentic maple leaf. If you wish to examine it more closely, drop by my desk. I'll be stuck there the rest of the day. That afternoon, what did you learn in school today? The door into the school bus has three steps and the handle on the drinking fountain is on the right. And everybody told me that second grade was going to be so hard. So you're in preschool and these kids are already in second grade. One day you'll be there too. It might seem like a long time away, but it's really not. But preschool is important because you're gonna learn all the things that you need to be ready for kindergarten and first grade and second grade. And the biggest thing that I know you're learning is being kind and being good helpers and sharing and caring. And that's the most important thing you can, you can learn. So I miss you all and I hope to see you soon. Stay well.